Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We continue to maintain like a one streak in basically every video, but that's gonna change when we are Eden with a D6. 8RTYNBTP. This is basically uh, an Isaac run, maybe with slightly worse starting damage, but also with Kane's, or sorry, not Kane's uh, other eye, but Nearsighted Friend. Those might be the same item now that I think about it. Um, it's not particularly amazing. It's not horrible, though. Oh, lord. Yeah? Okay. Tell you what, let's d4. Now we got Chemical Peel instead. And then... I'm gonna... Okay, yes. You know what? I, I gotta treat myself. I owe it to myself. To have a, a run with some degree of normalcy. The D4 and the D100 have been showing up, like, non-stop lately. And, like, these, not not maybe in, like, the last episode or two, but this month, like, January and February, have been, like, fucking D100 non-stop. So, I'm gonna say no to the D4, even though we didn't really gain much of value for, for really saying no to the D4. I figured it was still, um... It's high time to just have a run that's grounded in reality, I think. Even, I'm a zany dude! But I think you have to acknowledge, I'm a zany dude in Isaac, I'm pretty boring in real life, but um, you have to acknowledge that at some point, if zaniness becomes the norm, then normalness gives you the greater potential for zaniness. You know, it's like Carrot Top. Carrot Top's zany all the time to the point where it just becomes boring, right? It's better if, like, um, you know, Gerald Ford goes off the handle or something like that and, you know, starts, I don't know, singing Surfing Bird or something. You get what I'm saying. I'm trying to concoct the metaphor while also not dying here simultaneously. Not sure it's really working out for me. There is HP back here, which is what I'm going to do. And hopefully second secret room, maybe? Yeah, it could be regular, but it possibly second secret room. It's definitely second secret room. At least we got some HP back. We also got a bomb we could use for a key. Um, I take it back. This run is sort of hot garbage. What I mean by that specifically is our rate of fire and damage are awful. Could well change as soon as this boss fight, but I'm actually going to save our bomb for now. I think it may be... Whew, that was dangerous. Uh, it may be substantially more valuable for us, believe it or not, to just have a bomb that we can use for the boss. Now, this is bullshit because there's this fire here. This fire is unextinguishable. It just goes away after a certain amount of time. Okay, we got another bomb. Um... Let's make our way through here, and go to our shop next, where hopefully we'll be able to buy a... You know what, let's get a bomb back as well. Uh, or sorry, a key back. Where, where hopefully we'll be able to buy a spirit heart. It's a blank card. What a, what a strange situation we find ourselves in. And converter. I don't know how I feel about converter. I recognize that I put myself in kind of a bad position here. By playing the, uh, the demon judgment as much as I did. But, who dares wins, sometimes, hopefully this time, one more bomb, one more bomb, no more bombs, Mr. Boom, dude, like, you're, you're fucking me here, <laughs> I can't, what am I going to use Mr. Boom against the boss, no, I need my D6 back, uh, I don't know, I think maybe we just buy the card, and I'm actually, Happier than you might think about that. Because this should do a pretty good number on this boss. Let's not just die for no reason. Uh, it, it should do a pretty good number on this boss. It's Larry Jr. It'll kill one of them. It also got a Tinted Rock in the meantime. Uh, does that Larry Jr. always explode? That wasn't a Larry Jr. then. It must have been a Larry Senor. The, the weird Larry Jr. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, this other Larry Jr. is basically like a... Crawling Tinted Rock here, so... Help. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to... Take out the Silkworms, which is taking forever. Then we'll just throw a bomb down there and... Pretty much ruin that guy's life. Okay, this is worth taking. Got a two of Diamonds. An Endless Nameless, which also just gave us another uh, I Can See Forever. So... Let's pop the two of Diamonds and keep I Can See Forever. As ridiculous as that sounds, maybe. I do think that's our best outcome. And we've kind of built something like half decent here. But it was because I was an idiot that we had to build it in the first place. 
Roid Rage is good, but our damage is not improved. That's like the one sore spot right now, the one kind of sticking point, but uh, apart from that, I'm, I guess, relatively happy. I mean, as happy as I could be, because I'm not dead. We could go back and even play that Demon Judgment a little bit, but let's... A little ridiculous. We did some min-maxing that actually turned out to just be like min-minning on that floor. Oh man, we got another I Can See Forever pill, which is sweet. If we had had like confirmation that we'd like consistently be able to double with two of diamonds, that would have been one thing. I guess we could have bought blank card two of diamonds, but like honestly, I don't find that that meaningful on a, um, well, we'll just use it, see where we're going here at least. I don't find that that meaningful on a, uh, on a non-daily run. Sure, you have unlimited money. You can buy a lot of stuff from the shop, but um, that, I mean, that's it. Mostly you're in for the swag bonus on the daily. And I, I kind of... I, I feel like if I got rid of the D6 this early on an Eden run, I'm like... I'm just kind of shitting on the game. Like the game has given me an item of, of some repute. And I'm saying, you know what? I don't want that. Just give me the D4 that you've given me 800 times instead. So we're just trading bombs for everything at this point. And if we pick up some extra... Uh, Enemies killed on each one, that's even better. But we really need damage, like, as soon as possible, because starting with the next floor, things are, maybe even starting with this boss, things are going to get a little tricky for us uh, if we don't have High Priestess cards to rely on at all available times, basically. Um, so that's a Hanged Man. I don't know what we use that for at this point. I don't want I Can See Forever, sorry. No, I, yeah, I do, but I wanted uh, Swallowed Penny, which I actually do have, so that's... The correct trinket to take in here, at least, and that's a, a stupid amount of money. We're gonna, we're gonna get that nickel. Oh, it's a wooden nickel. Okay, um, let's not blow it up yet. We might be able to get a little bit more value out of that, uh, out of that room. We do want to leave with endless nameless. I'm not sure if it's uh, better than swallowed penny, but it's kind of more interesting, and it has given us access to every single uh, secret room so far. Or at least every single one past the first floor, so. I'm pretty pro that right now. We're gonna have a reroll ready, which we could use on our item room, but I guess we should save for the deal with the devil. Little Horn is annoying because he doesn't reliably get hit by bombs. He gets hit by his own bombs on occasion, but I can't kind of force him into it. Like, if I put a bomb, he could easily teleport. On the bright side, he is an idiot and keeps, you know, teleporting directly next to the fire. Allowing me to hit him into it a little bit. He's almost dead anyway. Okay, let's get a good damage deal with the devil and then we're like completely set. For now. As ridiculous as that sounds given that the run was kind of in shambles two minutes ago. HP we won't take just yet. And, uh, let's take Gimpy and reroll a Thame. Which became Guppy's Collar. A positive reroll, I would say, all things considered. We will eventually blow this up for the extra cash that we can get out of it. In fact, we might do that like right now. And we got a spirit heart out of it, which is awesome. We're up to 39 cents, which is quite frankly ridiculous. And uh, let's get a move on here. We do have a reroll we can bring up. And then we still have our shop remaining as well. I wouldn't get your hopes up about boss rush on this run. Uh, it doesn't look like an extreme likelihood. Eight minutes for the first two floors is pretty poor. And we still have yet to improve our damage, like at all. <laughs> and by like at all, I mean at all at all. Which actually, you know, is not literally true. Because I did D4 myself into Chemical Peel. So I have like a plus 0 0.4 damage upgrade or something kind of shitty like that. Okay, do me a favor and don't give me any HP from Charm of the Vampire. Don't give me any more HP from Charm of the Vampire. I might like to go to this boss trap room. Dude, this is the worst. Because my damage is so bad that... Ah, they healed me. My damage is so bad, I actually find myself like... Well, if they have Red Candle in there, maybe I should just take Red Candle. I'd rather take uh, Champion Belt, but we don't have a choice for what's in our shop. Uh, insofar as, you know, our, our reroll is it... You know, maybe it... Uh, maybe it carries us to a better item. But it's, I can't say for certain. I guess I want this to be like a two of clubs. You know what? Drop a... 
drop this out here. It's just so you don't have to go back into the dragon's nest here. So we got a Joker card, which is more valuable than uh, Endless Nameless. Or sorry, it is more valuable than uh, I Can See Forever. It would be nice to have both somehow, but obviously not possible. I don't think we buy the Broken Stopwatch. I think we get this. I think we will get BOGO Bombs, and then I think we'll buy our Battery Charge and reroll. And you know what? I'll buy the latter. Basically, at this point, I will buy anything that could possibly work out for us in the future. Uh, that, could, that could possibly pay dividends, because we're just not feeling it right now. This has been like a very slow one. That's Hanged Man. Which I suppose we could have used to get into the, the Joker area with like less danger, but whatever. Okay, we, we desperately need some damage. This is helpful, actually. Yo, I thought we were close enough to not get hit the second time there. But either way, I'm still I'm happy that that exists. I'm also extremely tempted to use the Joker card immediately. Because I could really, really use a morale boost, damage-wise. But sometimes you just gotta buckle down and accept that, you know, Isaac will probably be good to you if you have patience. Sometimes it just, it, it doesn't give you a chance. But this run should give us a chance. It's also making me feel real bad about um, not sticking with the D4 because we could have re-rolled re past the shittiness. But if anything, nah. If anything, this at least, at least reinforces um, what I always say when I say that D4, D100, they're not just zany. They're actually like really, really good items in their own right as well. But I think most people probably are in agreement on that. So just get ready for... Uh, Long trip here. Some of these enemies will die at some point. Unless I beat them there. Okay, that sucks. I know we could just leave, but the whole reason I was here is because I wanted the extra chance of like a consumable after finishing. I guess... Ah, dude, I really don't want a Joker card in case it's Krampus. Yeah, we really shouldn't. As much as I would like to, and, and believe you me, getting to a position where I could actually one-hit the weakest enemy in the game at the very least would be a nice, uh, a nice incentive for popping that Joker card. But we can always do it later on this floor. It's not like it affects Endless Nameless. It's gonna be a little bit of trickiness in here. Oh, that could have killed us. I mean, oh, <laughs> these enemies are not absurdly strong. Absurdly tanky, I should say. They're certainly not uh, weak either. Oh, dude, thank you for that lifesteal. It sucks when you have to rely on items like Charm of the Vampire, but at least we have the option to. As, as suboptimal as it is. And of course, I'm, I'm also failing to learn my lesson about probably not playing Demon Judgments until the end of the floor. In my defense, the number of times it comes back to bite you in the ass is normally a lot lower than this. Please. I beg you, help me. I, I actually now am like, even though I learned my lesson, maybe I actually want to go and play that Demon Judgment and get a quick uh, ceremonial robes or something. Probably not, though. Uh, you were dead, and then you came back to life, and also you got a second-story apartment in the house that Fuck built. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go hard here. I'm gonna buy an item. Wow, that didn't even get the, uh, the uh, fortune teller. And then by fortune teller, I mean donation machine. Uh, can't get to that. Okay, let's come back around this way. It's gonna be one of those runs, huh? Thirteen minutes on the caves one, and no, no sign of relief in sight. Can't kill one of five enemies on a room uh, before getting to the point where we're basically forced to take damage. Gonna be one of those runs. Gonna be one of those runs. Unless <laughs> these enemies drop a red chest, which takes us to the deal with the devil. Uh, gives us three red chests, and then two of them contain guppy items, and the other one contains a uh, free ticket to win the game. Well, that room's finally finished. Uh, I guess we'll fight the boss. It's the Hollow. Can we rejoice temporarily? Because if it were a boss that was harder than this, I would be annoyed. But 
It's it's this boss. This boss is not as hard as this boss. I'm already getting a little bit like mentally uh, off the rails here on this run. Normally at 14 minutes, you're you maybe entering the depths two, maybe entering depths one at the very least. We're on caves one here with uh, surprisingly bleak future prospects. Remember a floor ago when I said we were cooking with gas? We, were, we had a good run going? That was eight minutes ago. And we've only gotten one floor since then. So I was... I, I mis... Uh, misjudged our prospects there, I'd say. It was probably a fair assessment of, of, of that. Odds of a deal with the devil here are pretty bad. But that's why we have the Joker card. Okay. Speedball. At least it takes us closer to spun. And it was a fucking Krampus fight. Why you gotta do me dirty like that game? In fact, why you gotta do me dirty like this? So, the new next level Krampo strat is never let him get into the top frame, which is where he is right now. Because if he rotates, you just die. You, you can't dodge the shot. It's going to take us about 20 to 35 uh, lifetimes, human lifetimes to be specific, uh, to, to finish this off. At least he killed the fire for me. We got it, we got it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about 80, 75, 60% dead? Trying to thread the needle on those shots is not going to work for us. Okay, give me lump of coal. Or, at least give me a decent reroll off of Krampus' head. I'm kind of tempted to take Krampus' head because it does give us some ability to kill enemies. But we would be able to use it so rarely. I, I can't think that it's a good decision long term. Lump of Coal is non-rerollable, but we also have um, Curse of the Blind. So there's no way we would reroll it anyway. Head of Krampus, but also a Suicide King card. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Ceremonial Robes is good, though. That's like our first damage increase. 16 minutes. Still have not yet been to the item room on this floor. Now that we have Sin Robes from Krampus, this guy can't pay out with Sin Robes. Which means that he may have a better chance to pay out with a Guppy item. Or a Syringe is what I meant to say. And a Syringe could give us, um, well, would give us spun. So, that's okay. We still, by the way, have not improved very much. We're gonna be like 10 hitting these fucking bats to the point where I'm actually like tempted to just get hit so they all die. But that's a strategy that's not gonna work very well for us long term. At least we can locomote pretty well here. I also want enough money to be able to buy a battery charge from our shop, if that's ever going to be in the cards. But I also want to be able to buy one of those items. Even with Curse of the Blind, I kind of have to take a Hail Mary on it. If it sucks, you know, it's only money, but if it's good, it could expedite the process of, of me not becoming so bored in this run that I just die. And you know, these runs happen in Isaac. I'm going to choose not to take this run as a sign that we should always rock the D4 because, I mean, even though it was the wrong decision here to not take the D4 because obviously we would have rerolled past the shittiness into something more amazing. Um, I'm just kind of sick of the D4, D100 forced zaniness. I'll come back around to it, but I've had it enough recently where I'm just like, ah, it's like, it's manufactured, man. That's not genuine zaniness. That's not indie zaniness. That's... Fucking big wig corporate zaniness. So we're not going to get a, uh, a a genuine reroll here. We may have to buy a battery charge or just hope that one drops, I guess. D12 rerolls rocks. What a time to be alive. Well, um, we'll go quickly to our shop. Oh, you know what? There is one more room we could do, so we should do it. It's going to be 20 minutes getting out of the caves one, but you got to do what you got to do, right? Okay, two bombs here. Fuck the secret room. Not necessary here. Stopwatch. Uh, good, but not really an immediate like damage boost or anything. These guys don't deserve the death card. 
This would be a great time for Endless Nameless to just go buck wild. Yes! <laughs> it's done it! Okay, so we got a key, we got a battery charge out of it. Um, the first battery charge we're going to use on this, just in case it can become a syringe, maybe. Tiny planet. Everything that keeps us together is falling apart. I got this item I consider the greatest art of fucking myself over. My tears just don't go straight. They go around in a circle and wait till they die on the ground. I don't know. That's like, this is the weirdest uh, modest mouse reference I could have made there. Just not even lampshading it at all. Um. Well, I mean, this certainly isn't going to make things easier. Maybe like an attack fly would help us? Sticky bombs? At least we got some bombs now. Fuck, dude. This is... This one's getting out there. But this is also the kind of run that I live for, because it can be a nice springboard um, into confidence. And I shouldn't, I hope I don't sound unconfident in this run right now. The only reason I'd sound unconfident is because it's, it's awful. But there's a chance that we could pull it out. And if we do, we'll feel great. Are you a wizard? It's just like cruel at this point. If we can pull it out, we'll feel great. And oh, we got 15 cents. We'll uh we'll have a run that we can always point back to and be like, "Remember that run? That was fun." Well, it wasn't fun at all, but at the end it was fun because it made us look like we were better than we were. Mom's coin purse. It's four more pills. Are you a wizard? Luck up, which is another luck up. Thanks to endless nameless. Explosive diarrhea, which becomes another explosive diarrhea. And amnesia. Um, I think we're just going to take Suicide King and get the heck out of here. Oh, what's the, what's the point of the Suicide King card? If we get nine lives, we could theoretically chain this together and maybe, maybe make something happen. Get a bunch of items on the chest if we make it that far. I don't know. Kill ourselves to get out of boss rush. Curse of the Blind on this floor. So remember, Tiny Planet's not all bad. Sometimes it's very good. But on this run, uh, it's pretty horrible right now. But it is a tears upgrade. So for all the negativity, I think I'm going to stick with Endless Nameless just for kind of like, you know, slam dunk potential. Um, for all the negativity about Tiny Planet that I will have, and prepare yourself for that. Remember, it's not 100% horrible. It still did give us a tears upgrade. Maybe we'll be able to leverage that in some way. So here's my nightmare scenario that exists within the realm of possibility right now. Curse of the Blind, deal with the devil, get super excited, pick up an item, thinking it'll save us. Surprise, it's Mom's Knife. Now we have Mom's Knife and Tiny Planet, uh, aka the Devil's Homebrew, and you can't, you can't hit anything. Everything will be impossible to hit. Our actual logical way out here is... Huge damage upgrades, huge tears upgrades, or Sack Dagger. I mean, we could maybe do it with a cube of meat, but I'd really rather have something like Sack Dagger to sell it. Because um, cause right now, I mean, it's looking a little rough. I'm not sure if you've noticed. Sack Dagger would allow us to basically opt out of the... Um, oh, Tiny Planet, why? Uh, basically opt out of the tier structure we've, we've been forced into here. And instead, just turn it into a 100% dodging extravaganza. At least we got like eight spiders out of that. Like, it, they pushed my bomb, but we we kind of got an advantage. We may we may pursue that at one point, but probably not immediately. Oh man, okay. Give me pestilence on this floor. That'd be a good start. Nullifies curse of the blind because I well makes it irrelevant at least because I know what item we're getting. On the deal with the devil, we can afford to be a little aggressive. I mean, it could go the other way. We could get uh, two guppy items on our deal with the devil, and then I'd be really, really happy about, you know, our, our lot in life. We do have some positives on this run that maybe I've neglected to mention. We are quite fast. And that's not completely insignificant. You know, it means that we can just kind of rush around here. That's unfortunate, but we do have Gimpy. Yeah, we picked up Gimpy from our deal with the devil 20 minutes ago, right? <laughs> is that is that where that came from? 
We also, I mean, the egg sack bombs, when they hit an enemy and stick to them, I guess they, they spawn a bunch of spiders, so, you know, there is that. Speeds our life up a little bit, and I'm, I'm kind of, I'm going pretty hard on that strat right now, because I, I really want to get to the item room as soon as possible. Shop will do. But we may fight greed. Like, if we go one more floor without, um... Without picking up something that actually gives us future prospects, morale is gonna is gonna start to fall quite precipitously. I think this is a bona fide, genuine train wreck run right here. It's our secret room, so let's check. Could be a second secret room. I can't remember. You know what? Just take a black heart. See if I give two fucks of a lamb's dick. I have to admit, stopwatch is helping. That's gonna be really useful in the hush fight. I'm, I'm, was that a joke, Bobby? Yes, it was. Uh, so we got the hero font card. That's pretty sweet. I got to, oh, you fucking dick. I got to use it twice. Which is a lot of HP. That's not a little HP, that's a decent amount. But what are we gonna do here? I don't know what we're gonna do here, okay? It's a little bit of a tricky situation. Just let me think about it. It's it's not easy. It's not greed either. Um, okay, we're gonna buy the bomb because that allows us to open the stone chest. Something like Cricket's head would be pretty useful right now. Four bombs. That's okay. Okay, we got six bombs out of this, which at the very least can kind of like buoy us through the boss fight. Each one of those bombs does contain, you know, a bunch of spiders if used optimally. Op optimally. Thermopoly. Okay. We, okay, let's do this. I'm ready. It's Chad. Chad's getting bombed. That's just the way it goes. Might be better to not have him eat the bombs and instead just have them explode into spiders on these flies. Okay, I don't really care about Little Chad, we might reroll that. Let's see what we got in here first though. Pentagram, it's good! Little Chad got rerolled into Safety Pin. That's exactly what we need is more range and shot speed. I'm being sarcastic, we already have more than enough range and shot speed. Pentagram is good, but don't fall into that trap of being like, NL, you can't complain about this run, you got one good item. On my average run, I only get speed upgrades. I know because I charted in Excel. Here's my data. It's not just an anecdotal claim. That's not good damage. Um, you know, you you gotta accept that this is still a monstrously below average run. And it's really now I'm starting to regret not taking the D4. I'll be with you on that one. I absentmindedly said the D4 doesn't matter to me, and I, I regret this decision. I took perks just to to keep Suicide King, because there's a potential for greatness there. Infestation is so bad. Infestation 2 is incredible. Infestation is horrible. There's no way we could have known, but um, it, it doesn't change the fact that that's real shitty. Okay, Golden Bombs. It's like exactly too late to get huge value out of this. But we can at least throw down a ton of bombs, and each one will give us some spiders. And maybe we can start the next floor with a little bit of a spider advantage, you know? Spider advantage, spider advantage, does whatever a spider advantage can. Doesn't really make any sense. Um, I guess, actually, now that I think about it, the egg sac bombs only work if they kill the enemy. So we're not going to be able to get too many spiders off of a peep here. Dude, I just gotta say, I hate the fact that you're slow right now. It's making my life surprisingly difficult. There we go. I, first, I thought it was just if they stick to an enemy, but not. Nah, we got spider, spider baby bombs. Oh, that's eh, not an insignificant amount of spiders, I suppose. Twenty-seven minutes headed down to the depths. One. Get hype, everybody. Let's see if we can get some pills or mushrooms or something here. There's pills. We do have unlimited bombs. It's time to finally take advantage of that. Balls of Steel is good. Are You a Wizard is not, but Balls of Steel is good enough to make up for it. 
Balls of Steel is good. Luck up is good. I was hoping we get another doubling there, but still, that was that was a decent haul. Might as well do this. Might as well do this. Now, we should probably... Oh, right, we can't even take that because we're at full HP, amazingly. Um, we should go to our shop and bomb our donation machine. Sorry, donation machine. It's just one of those runs where um, we got to do it, unfortunately, for you. All right, so that's 16 cents. We got the battery, which is not bad. I don't think we want the card or the pill. Pill might be good. I can't remember what it was, but... Oh, just give me a fucking orbital. I... Demand it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That's good. Get your head straight again. Going down to the depths. Gonna gonna be spending some time down here. Prepare yourself for that. It's not gonna be uh it's not gonna be a two minute floor, no matter how much you'd like it to be. You're gonna be in this one for the long haul. But you got double the re-rolls now. And you got the pentagram is not an insignificant item, and you're about to get Cricket's head. Cricket's head. Okay, but like Guppy's head is really good, but we'll re-roll it into Sissy Long Legs. No, I'm sorry. Sissy Long Legs is fine, but I think we kind of have to go harder. I, I think we've got to, we've really got to look for the item that elevates us. Sissy Long Legs is is painful to re-roll because I could really use those spiders, but I don't think it's what's best for the business right now. My judgment may be incorrect, but this is this is how I feel at the present moment. I suppose I shouldn't have even used Guppy's head because he used our battery charge, but lessons learned that I'll probably never recall, but that's okay. The, the Guppy's head pickup puts us one beautiful feline themed item away, not Tammy's head, ideally, but one beautiful feline themed item away from, I don't want to say having a chance, because we still presently have a chance, but at least, like, maybe having a chance to have some fun on this run is something that could happen. We are we got a lot of consumables. Oh, sorry. Got a lot of consumables, so we're going to crank on these, and that was a huge waste, but... I did not get any spiders for that explosion there. I believe you'll want to be recounting these votes, because I should get spiders for that, I feel. That enemy died, unless they died on the spikes, which I refuse to agree with. Your methodology is flawed. Really can't afford to use bombs this prodigiously. Oh, we almost got him, man. I can't believe we, we did it! <laughs> We killed this room! Okay, these jokers. Exactly the same situation presents itself now. Where's my spiders? Yo, that enemy died to the bomb. I should have spiders. Even if it split into enemies afterwards, it still died! I'm, I'm just... Am I gonna be here for another 60 minutes? The runs only get harder from these, these points onward. Ah! At least it's not a tears down. That would actually be like a lethal uh, hit for this run. I don't care. Hit me. See if I give two shits. We have infestation. You just played right into my hand. Now I can actually summon some flies. Oh. Okay. 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 Whoa, what do you got for me? Yeah, we're getting a lot of pills. I do think this could save us. It could also do nothing, but... Could be a big one. This enemy will never die. Um, just get a snack. I'll be on this room when you... Never mind, we made it. I wanted to stick that one out because I was worried our bombs would kick it away. Now we have four bombs. Bomb economy is just going... Very, you know what? I've decided not to play your game anymore. I've decided I don't like the rules. I think they're they're set in the in the enemy's favor. So I'm just gonna leave instead. I'm gonna try this. Come on. Come on. Black cards or tarot cards or anything at all. Yeah, I figured that would be a dead end, but I wanted to check just in case this linked up with the other room up there. And I'll stand here for ten minutes and hit these. 
32 minutes on the depths one. This is embarrassing. I th we're I'm not sure if we're quite there yet, but we're definitely getting pretty close to the point where I can claim this is like the worst damage I've ever had on an Isaac run. Or at least the worst I don't mean damage stat necessarily, but like the least ability to kill enemies. We have the occasional bomb. Uh and and basically pentagram. Bomb and pentagram. And then we have Tiny Planet. No Cuba Meat, no Sacrificial Dagger. Oh, I forgot we have Chemical Peel, but no Cuba Meat, no Sack Dagger, no Attack Flies, no, you know, Blue Baby's Only Friend, no alternative means whatsoever of, uh, of hitting enemies. I may use a bomb against this guy just to expedite this process. It's getting a little... No, of course... 48 hour energy, that's a pretty good pill. We have to take the halo, but 48 hour energy is still good. Is it better than the card that kills us? I mean, probably, yes. Um, might as well use a key, I'm not going for the... I'm not going for the uh, golden key. We Our bombs are sadly more precious. One bomb is more precious than unlimited keys. Because we can use it to actually kill an enemy. We got some spiders out of that one too. How do you like them spiders? I got our number. We'll probably use our bomb actually uh, to smack that stone chest up there. The halo pickup does, with its tiers upgrade in particular, start to make this an actual functional, uh, functional run. Uh, it's not good still, but we start to get to the point where it is good, you know? And it doesn't matter if it takes you, if it takes you 12 years to, to finish this run. You know, some people go to college when they're, uh, when they're 15. Some people go when they're 18. Some people go when they're 40. But you know what? On the degree, it doesn't say you, you're, you're old, you know? It just says you got the degree. So that's, that's my, that's my inspiration right now. We're going to be the the old dude in undergraduate classes. And you know what? Good for us. So I, the, the best quote I ever saw on Reddit, which is not necessarily stretching it that much. Okay, we'll take Succubus, reroll the other two. Yeah, we'll take the ability to fly, 48-hour energy, and reroll the other one. We also got 48-hour energy back. There's a guppy item. Oh, shit. Now we're guppy. Reroll it. Mob the Void. Free ability to fly now, but still. You're like, oh, but the PJs. Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh. Okay, this run is like totally functional. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I pushed this away? Um, anyway, like I was going to say, the best quote I ever saw on Reddit, again, that's not necessarily stretching it, but was like, uh, you know, what's the best advice anyone ever gave you? And this dude was like, well, I was 38 and I was contemplating, you know, a career change and maybe going back to college, but I was like, talking to my friend and I was like, yeah, but when I graduate, I'll be 42 or something like that. And he was like, you'll still be 42. Like, no matter what, you're still gonna be old, dog. You might as well be old and do the thing you wanna do instead of just being afraid of being old. That's it's, it's very good advice, I think. I can't really relate to it because I'm, you know, I'm still 27, but um, I, I think that, that stuck with me. Hopefully it'll stick with me when I get older and it won't, it'll help me avoid, uh, you know, any paralysis from from doing what I want to do uh, at that age I mean there are valid reasons not to do something It's like you're 50 years old and yeah you know, your kid is relying on you for like college money or something and you're like I want to be a stunt man you're like dad you missed your chance to be a stunt man I'm sorry you're it, it, the you're over the hill it's you've been passed by the by the young generation um, and, and you can't invest in going to Stuntman College, because I'm going to Yale for being an engineering doctor. And, like, come on, Dad. Don't be a, don't mess with my dreams of going to Yale. That's, you gotta be a selfless dude in that situation, I think. Alright, I'm very confused now on these teleports, but... By the way, this run is now, uh... Good. I, I hesitated temporarily. I thought, will I call this run good? And I think it is. Um, Tiny Planet still makes it very difficult to hit enemies. I'd like something that that mitigates the shittiness of that. Uh, and there's nothing can ever take away the amount of time we put into this one, you know. 
basically doing no damage. I don't care. Hit me if you want to hit me. But it is now... It's good. It, it's certainly not bad. Whoa, jeez, dude. Freaking Steven Stamkos it over there. Still need our item room. It should only be one room away. We could potentially finish this run before 50 minutes, which is not a good time for a run, but it's a pretty good time for the run when you consider that, you know, we were on the depths one at like 28 minutes? Huge rate of fire increase, I think, is pretty valuable, even though a lot of people aren't huge fans of number one. Um, 48 hour energy, I think, is a great pill to stick with. We did have to get rid of Suicide King, but. I'm not going to Suicide King myself with Guppy's Collar. That's just like, there's a 50% chance you die just for doing it, which is a pretty silly reason. Okay, we got our Polaroid. Head down to the next floor. No mapping, but that's okay. I should probably, in all honesty, be relying on Mob the Void for most of our damage. Somewhat sadly, but... It, it is our principal damage dealer. Well, it's our secondary damage dealer next to the flies, but the flies are hard enough to hit with as is. Little lazy, skipping those chests. Have mercy. We are uh, pretty far into this, and I'm, I'm ready to take the next step on this run. Actually beating some bosses that are, you know, appropriate for the amount of time that's been invested for the first time. Not fighting Peep at, you know, 28 minutes. Okay. Yeah, Mob of the Void is crushing it. I think Mob of the Void is generating flies, too. So, it's like a... It's a double-edged sword. But it's like a double-edged sword in a good way. It's like a single-edged sword that's twice as sharp. The metaphor is not great, I'll admit. Could have played that. The, the Demon Judgment, that is. But Demon Judgment sort of exacerbated this whole mess to begin with. So, you know what? Maybe I'll just tell Demon Judgment to F off a little bit. Okay, good. Let's kill this boss in no time. Flat. Oh, we got so many good reroll sinks. Brimstone. Tiny Planet Brimstone is beautiful. Synergizes with Mob the Void. Works together with it, at least. And uh, we have no concerns whatsoever now. This is now, like, the easiest run of all time. Again, it'll be one of those ones people will tune in and be like, Well, it's gonna bag up Brimstone again. Yo, you didn't see the the misery that we dealt with to start with here. I do sort of miss the misery, I gotta admit, you know? I miss the struggle slightly, but... It's definitely more comfortable this way. And Tiny Planet Brimstone is also, like, kinda cool looking. So, that's a huge positive, in my eyes. That's half of the zaniness of the run. Now we just need, like, uh, homing shots. Preferably in the form of Sacred Heart, and, and then I'll be thrilled. You know what? We, you know what I'm thinking. You know what I'm thinking. We could teleport, but we could already get to the dark room. Or I guess we can already get to the chest. We can't get to the dark room. Um, so it seems like it's a little bit just shitting on the run after it gave us the chance at victory. So I'll probably just go to the chest, get a bunch of items, you know, retire in relative comfort. That seems advisable, I'd say. Rather than putting it all on the line for, for what? For pride? Pride will get you, man. Pride will get you. Not even an item pedestal here. Game's still retaining a little bit of that fuck you atmosphere that made the start of it so, uh... Laborious. Okay. I mean, this is like a new height of laziness for me. You're now seeing me at my worst. Opening a chest, and then if it's not giving me an item, just bouncing. Like, the sunk cost is gone. Did get a deal with the devil. Gives me the shovel. Total reroll. Guppy's hairball is a reroll as well. Razor blade is a reroll. Use 48 hour energy. Did not get another 48 hour energy, which is unfortunate. Un unfortunate. Goathead is not good anymore. Sure. You know we'll take nine lives. Let's do it. We finally got now. If only we can get the Suicide King card back. Obviously, we won't have the. Uh, we won't have permanent Polaroid invincibility anymore. But on this run, we probably shouldn't need it. I can't believe that this run is going to finish in almost a normal amount of time. There is a tinted rock back there. In, in fact, it may finish in 45 minutes, which is a long-ish run, but certainly something that I would say is within the bounds of, like, normal Isaac play. 
So, I mean, it's a little surprising, but it just goes to show you how good this run got after it was so bad for so long. Our chances of getting to boss rush were, were basically, like, maybe mathematically near zero. Uh, approaching zero, at least. And now it's just like, oh, what, what were we concerned about? You know, we one-hit Isaac. Well, that's not true now. We, we actually did need to get into his second phase a little bit. or is, Actually, we went from first to fourth phase, but still. Let's see what we got here. We don't have any 48-hour uh, energy pills, but we can at least still crack it, see what we get. I don't know if Kidney Stone Brimstone works. I don't know if 2020 Brimstone works, but you know what? These are tiers upgrades. Maybe. Yeah, 2020 Brimstone totally works. Kidney Stone and uh, Lost Protector, I think I'm going to reroll. Kidney Stone maybe could have been fun, but I actually just don't know how it synergizes, so... I'll be the little baby and, and just go away instead. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Monstro's Tooth and My Best Friend. Probably not worth holding right now. Man. I don't know if I would have been happier if this run just sucked, but we won anyway. So I could be like, ha, remember that? Instead, this run actually makes me look like a little baby, because as bad as our damage was, we had pretty decent HP. At least, like, survivable HP for quite some time. What were you worried about? You had five spirit hearts. You don't you don't know, man. If you weren't there, you don't know. Samson's chain. Uh, honestly, probably reroll that because it's closer to us than going all the way back. Fate's reward is at least okay. Sometimes. Uh, no real need to take Book of Revelations. Maybe a little bit of pride factoring in there, but... Sure, homing bombs, I guess, why not? If there's any curse I hate for like superficial reasons, it's definitely a completely meaningless curse of the lost at the end, which is basically just like, yeah, you won, but I'm gonna make it take a while to find the boss room to make myself feel better. Yeah, it looks like we will be done in 45 minutes, maybe 44 if the boss room is like right over here, but I'm not sweating the time too much. I'm mostly just happy to be alive. Oh, we got the mom transformation, dark bum. I'm happy to be alive, and I'm happy that we at least got a taste of doing damage on this run, because there was... There was some dark times here. But yeah, this is certainly not how I would have expected it to end, but I'm happy that it did... You know, gain so much momentum towards the end. This may be a dead end. It may also be the boss fight. You know, 45 minutes still possible if these guys die in time. Get in there! I promise people 45 minutes, 44 minutes, I meant to say 4402, oh well. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did click the like button. Helps out a great deal, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.